Good morning, everyone. Oh, late start this morning. Um, I have not been trading for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I was out of town for about a week, and while I was out of town, I stepped off the boat and heard a snap in my knee. I've been on a little bit of pain pills, which should never be trading during that, because you know, things can get a little wonky. Um, so I just want to look over the last couple of days, though, and thank God I wasn't here trading. Because looking at this, uh, it was okay. Yesterday looks like a mess. Today doesn't look very pretty at all. So I guess we have to be very selective about our choices in the market. Because uh, if we're not selective, we can just dive off into anything. And if we dive off into anything, then we give um, weight to something that has absolutely no weight. So I'm looking at what's happened here, and it's given me signals that this is pushing down. So I'm going to let this run for just a minute. I'm going to pause it while I take care of a few things and come right back. So I, I did want to take another look at yesterday, too, really quick. This was giving us signals that it was coming down. It overran a, an area, and we can see that area held a couple of times, and it's pushing this back to the upside. Now, as we're looking here, it is struggling to get back up here. Let's just put this at our last high. Yeah, that's right at our last high. I don't know if it's gonna make it up there. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. It's funny because it keeps giving signals for down and then immediately turning around and giving signals for up. So you have to be pretty quick on the draw unless it gives a pretty strong push in that direction. Ooh, Ooh maybe 638. Let's see where this does right here. Outside, but it's not outside with strength. If I took a long now, it would be just to be in. If I took a short now, this is telling me short though. So let me turn right back around and come back up. And I will be prepared if it does. Just had a really good space to give us a push down. We do have our higher time frames. Still outside of the Bollinger Bands. Okay, I'm gonna need it to cross that bottom Bollinger Band on my 1597. If it does not, and it starts to push back up, I'm gonna exit the trade. Now, on a day like today, you can tell that we're not looking for real uh, huge wins. Okay, no, it's not doing what I wanted to do here. It's looking almost like it did before. Still got some strength down here. <laughs> I'm going to start keeping a tighter risk on this because this really has the opportunity to push back up. It's not pushing through this bottom Bollinger Band, just at this resistance area. <clears throat> what area am I talking about, All right, y'all? See where these closes are. But we do still have movement to the upside. I'm going to start keeping a little bit closer risk on this because if this pushes back up, I do not want to be in it. Slowing and rolling here. Ugh, if I do this too, it's too quick. I gotta keep it here. It's too quick if I move it now. We gotta wait till it pushes down. I know the rules. Got a little bit of an M pivot here, which did good for us before. Really need to see it break this bottom Bollinger Band on my 1597. It's doing it on my lower tick charts. So now if we push past this area, I'm going to move my wrist two ticks behind here. All right, there we go. Now I need to look, oh, there we go. I think just for safety's sake, let's watch what happens here. We got a major head and shoulders here. <clears throat> we got strength pushing back down, which we've seen before. This has a little bit better signal with the divergence between these pivots. We're moving to a break even right now. 
because we're at spots that really could create that bounce back up. Let's see what's happening here. All right, we're good still. Love it. Love it. Mm, love that too. Step away for just a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and exit this. Uh, take one out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take one out here. Ooh. I'm gonna take the other one out too. Close. There we go. <coughs> I literally stepped away for about two seconds. And had I had that at a break even, yes, it would have come back and hit it. And this is still pushing down. All right, here, let's see what happens at this spot. It may just go right back up. I'll put another line here just so we can look at where this head and shoulders is. Oh, I have it here. Let me. And there we go. All right, it's a major slowdown here. I do like that we put so <clears throat> there's a couple of different signals here. We've broken the bottom Bollinger Band, which tells us more down, but we're well above the zero line, which tells us more up. So we have to see which one has more signals in that direction. So the crossing of our Bollinger Bands on our 10946, which I'm seeing right here, tells me more up, right? But we're having divergences above these areas and we're we've got a little bit i want to say it's a tight spot because it looks like it on the 10946 but it's not a very tight spot when it comes to the uh rest of the um big picture when you see how many points are actually between here but we do have some intermittent areas that really could create the bounce something like right in here if it even makes it down to there so we'll put that on there so we can just kind of keep it in our focus and you see that area has been hit prior um right now it's still showing us strength down and i'm digging it ba -da -ba -ba -ba. all right so i took my exit and i would have taken it honestly both here uh, but i stepped away for a moment and that's my bad Seems like volume is super, super low to um, painful. Painful is the best way. I guess it's not painful. It's learning experiences. How about that? If we take every painful experience and make it a learning experience, then we come out wonderfully, right? We always come out a winner, even if we don't become the champion of that match. We learn. Looks like this may continue pushing down. 1597 has good momentum to it to the downside. 233 has already started to slow down, which we always expect. The 610 also still direction up. So here's a little something, something else that I want to look at. A little something, something. This little something, something right here just shows me that look how it's pulled back up to this high which is not far off from the high um of the year so far um and then it pulls back and these macd's right here and this is the daily chart the daily chart is not something i use regularly in my moment to moment trading but i do look at the overall and what's happening so I see that it's weak EMAs to the upside and these MACDs, we did our dip here and it's inside of the Bollinger Band, it's not pushing up, which it could easily do. And has a push down hard to the downside. We're not fortune tellers, folks. We just read the patterns. So our 1597 is really the trading chart. 1597, the 4181, kind of mishmish back and forth between those two. Um, with that being said, that's showing us some strength in the drop to the downside. Really, really showing strength in the drop to the downside. Now, had I left my risk where it originally was back above here, 
and I was really quick with the pullback. I used this right here as my guidance. Um, had I kept it really back here, when this pulls back, I'd still be in the trade, but it's not what I did. So I chose to move um, my wrist down just to protect myself a little bit. And it's a good thing because I stepped away also and uh, would have been a little bit frustrated. Okay. So it hasn't made it down to that area yet. It's slowed down here, but not enough. And I may just go ahead and take my one trade and call it a day. Um, this is so slow and I have a lot of things that I'm working on just as, as normal. Um, I'm switching up a few things with the uh, pages and just getting a lot of things in order so I can help more people. Um, I want to be able to help as many people as possible to understand this and move forward. Um, I know it's a tough thing to learn and wrap your head around, but once you do start to really um, put things together, it does get easier. Is it always cut and dry? Never. Um, one chart will always have something going against the others. It's the majority that rules. It's the um, slight signals in the smaller charts when the bigger charts are giving the signals as well. But you have to know what the signals are to look for and recognize. Does this mean that we'll always trade in the right direction? No, because we're not perfect. You saw me earlier looking to take a long trade at the point where all of a sudden I realized it was time for a short trade. The long trades were there. They were valid, but they were also short-lived and there were reasons that it was short-lived weak emas distance to them uh, slowing down a macd's things like that um, head and shoulders divergences so putting those all together are important are we always going to have the same signal and can we just have a cut and dry when we're above this area we take longs when we're below this area we take shorts it's not possible if we had that cut and dry every body could do this but it really takes some decision making on your part it takes being open and clear-headed and paying attention it takes leaving your ego at the door and when I say takes leaving your ego at the door what I mean is is a lot of times we want to um, be right and we'll be wrong many 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 times trying to force ourselves to be right instead of doing the right thing, because that's what it's telling us to do. So um, I don't even know what I made off that. Let me look. Probably maybe two points. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> uh, point and a quarter. What? <laughs> Well, it's a good start to come back into things and have a, um, a clear head and be prepared without getting run over. This is still going down. It's going down with some strength. It might, it's probably going to make it back to that area. Um, but right now, I really have things on my mind that I want to move towards that's going to help students to really push forward. Um, I know that it is not always easy to learn this, and it does take time, and it does take practicing, and it does take losing to know how to win, okay? You have to lose to know how to win. And when you lose, you cannot allow that to mean anything about yourself. You have to allow it to be a learning experience. So um, while I'm watching this push down, I really want to see if this goes to the next spot or if it's just going to turn around from here. It looks like it's about to run, 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 run. I mean, if you look at the strength of the MACDs on our 1597, which is working to shift the momentum to the downside. Um, which may happen. It is working its little booty off to get all the way down to the area that we marked. 
<laughs> a point and a quarter is kind of just a small, quick win. And, um, you know, it really doesn't matter how much you make every day. As long as you make good choices and you remain positive mentally. <laughs> I mean, because we're going to have losing days, especially in the beginning. The more that you trade, I mean, and the better you get at reading these signals, the less and less losing days you'll have. That may mean that some days you walk away with a point, a point and a quarter. That may mean that some days you walk away with 20 points. Mm, look at ya. That right there is close enough to that spot for me to be considered in the spot. Um, anyways, it's time to put focus on other things because, guys, I, what I really want to do is I just want to see a lot of people grow and prosper. Um, I don't want to see everybody trade the exact same way I do. I guarantee you I had some students who got in when the roll happened here and back at this point. Um, I probably had students who got in here. I probably had students who got in here and here. So it really just does, depends on what you what your tolerance is and how you choose to trade because none of us are going to trade the same. We may take some of the same trades. We may enter at some of the same spots and exit at some, some of the same spots. But these things are almost like a fingerprint. So everybody has to put their own print on this trading. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. My anticipations right now, and I'm just going to pull this over so we can look at it really, really quick. Uh, right now, we've got the crossover to the upside. There's still 4,000 ticks on here, but you can see it has pulled right down to that area, and you can see that EMA is pushing to the upside. We had a lot of movement to the upside prior. This uh, weakness to the downside, this is very weak move to the downside. Right now it's a very weak move to the upside, but it is working to shift it to the downside. So we'll just have to watch and see. All right, so let me wrap this up. Um, I've been at this for 33 minutes today. Uh, well, according to my recording. And I'm gonna just go ahead really quick and put this on here, not a big, winner 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 chicken dinner but it is something right all right guys i look forward to talking to more of you to working with more of you and uh, to helping you to achieve your trading goals have a wonderful wednesday everyone